The scope block in the SYNCS library is the most common way of visualizing signal data in Simulink. To view a signal in a scope, you simply connect the signal to the scope block. Double-clicking the scope block opens the signal display. Simulating the model updates the scope display with the signal data. You can also connect vector signals to view multiple signals in the same axis or can add more axes to view them separately. You can change the number of axes for a scope from the scope parameters dialog. In the style tab, you can also customize the scope's color schemes and line styles. You can use the zoom tools on the scope toolbar to inspect different regions of the signal. You can zoom into a rectangular region or zoom along the time axis. The Fit to View button on the toolbar auto-scales the axis to get the best view of the entire data. You can also zoom vertically along the y-axis, keeping the time axis intact, and then zoom along the time axis. Simulink viewers make it very easy to display signals from various levels of hierarchy without cluttering the editor with scope blocks and signal lines. You can create a viewer using the Create and Connect Viewer option from the Signal right-click menu. You can choose from different types of displays that are available through the viewer. Once you have a viewer, you can add additional signals using the Signal Selection icon on the viewer. This opens a dialog with output signals of all the blocks in the model, including the states in a state flow chart. You can navigate to the level of hierarchy you want and select blocks whose output you would like to visualize. Once the model is simulated, you can look at the viewer for simulation results. You can use the zoom tools in a viewer toolbar just like the ones on the scope. In the viewer parameters dialog, you can add a legend for the signals and add more axes. The viewer indicator on a signal tells you which signals are connected to a viewer. You can add a signal to an existing viewer using the right-click menu and open the viewer by double-clicking on the viewer indicator.